Hey there, everybody. My name is Tucker Showblad. I'm a product consultant, and this is what's new in Tableau 2019.4. With the release of 19.4, we're continuing to make it easier for customers to find, connect to, and analyze their data. Highlight features this release include significant table improvements, view recommendations for Tableau Server and Tableau Online, and webhooks support to help further integrate and extend the Tableau platform. Here's our quick agenda. We're going to start off with new connections to data, move over to IT and governance, then visual analytics, and we'll wrap up with improvements to our web and mobile experience. Let's dive in. First up are the LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Alibaba Cloud Connectors. So, gain deeper insights from your Sales Navigator application platform data. Connect to and analyze this SNAP data in Tableau, enabling your sales operations users to merge, analyze, and visualize social selling data alongside their other sales performance reports. Additionally, through our new partnership with Alibaba, Tableau will be able to natively connect to and analyze data in Max Compute, Analytic DB, or Data Lake Analytics. Additionally, Kubel and Kaivos customers now have the power of a native connector. Last but not least, when you connect to data in SAP HANA, leveled hierarchies utilized in calculation views will now automatically be available to users in Tableau. Let's quickly jump over to Tableau Prep now. You can now start prepping your cloud-based files from Box, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive in Tableau Prep Builder then publish them up to stay fresh using Tableau Prep Conductor. Let's move over to IT and governance. In 19.4, Tableau is seeing some serious extensibility improvements. Starting off with webhooks, you can now create automated workflows triggered by events as they occur with webhook supports for Tableau Server and Tableau Online. With this support, the possibilities are really endless. You could build a workflow that alerts users of new content through Slack, or a workflow that automatically creates case tickets within ServiceNow, say, if an extract fails. Let's jump into a quick demo here to see what this is like. First, I'll grab a workbook with a dashboard that I'm ready to publish up to Tableau Server. Next, I'm going to bring over my Slack window so we can see the result of this automated workflow in real time. I've set up a webhook that notifies me via Slack whenever a new workbook is published up to my site. So let's go ahead and trigger that publishing process now. I'll publish the workbook, and you can see that as soon as it's complete, right over there, I've received a new Slack message all powered by this webhook integration. Now, that was just a quick example, but hopefully it gets you excited about what's possible with webhooks and the ability to integrate Tableau into some really powerful automated workflows. Let's continue with extensions. We've made extensions more flexible, and now developers can create sandboxed extensions which disable network calls, streamlining the development process from a security standpoint. Last up here are personal access tokens. You can now provide individual users the ability to create long-lived authentication tokens for running automation and tools against Tableau's REST APIs without requiring the hard coding of account credentials into plain text or an interactive login experience. Next up are view recommendations. With view recommendations, you'll receive personalized suggestions that instantly connect you to relevant data and content on your site. Powered by machine learning, these recommendations match preferences between users, surfacing content that others like you have found interesting or useful, including what's most popular and recent. 19.4 has seen some major improvements to sharing and access, and first up is user visibility. This new site mode blocks user-to-user -user visibility within a site for explorers and viewers, so that users from different organizations remain anonymous to one another. Creators and administrators still see other users to help manage groups, permissions, and contents in the site. 
The request access feature enables users to send a request message to content owners if they don't have permission to see a project, workbook, or view. Last up are two features called Share What You See and Named Sharing. When sharing a dashboard or view that has been modified through selections, filters, or zooming and panning, sharing will automatically generate a link that include these interactions. Additionally, simply enter the names of any named user on the site to send them an email with the dashboard or view image and an optional note. To align with governmental accessibility guidelines, we've added a few key improvements, including navigation and keyboard accessibility, compatibility with screen readers and assistive technologies, and new contrast ratios to help reach level AA accessibility. The job management UI is seeing a major overhaul in this release. In Tableau Server, users can create tasks such as extract refreshes, subscriptions, or flows, and even have the option to put them on a schedule to execute. These scheduled items are referred to as tasks, and the unique instances of the tasks are kicked off as jobs. New capabilities for the job management UI include support for flow cancellation, support for extract encryption at REST jobs, average queue and run times of jobs so you can understand how the job is performing against historical runs, a last successful run field, and many more. So definitely go check that out. Last up for IT and governance, you can now have a custom welcome banner for Tableau Server. Ensure your team finds important resources information by customizing the welcome banner right on the home screen. Now let's turn to improvements in Visual Analytics. Table improvements. Now you can create tables with up to 50 columns and have the ability to scroll horizontally. For flat tables, sort entire columns by dimensions and discrete measures across multiple panes. And additionally, we have a new sort dropdown, which allows you to choose between nested and field sort for all dimensions and discrete measures. We're making it easier for you to enable more curated experiences for Ask Data in 2019.4. Admins now have the flexibility to enable or disable Ask Data as a default site setting, helping ensure users that are only using Ask Data on a subset of curated data sources. We've also integrated categorized suggestions to help users understand the various types of analytical questions that can be asked. And finally, calculating year-over-year -year or month-over-month -month metrics is as simple as typing YOY profit growth, helping you quickly answer critical questions of your data. Lastly, link sharing allows users to share interactive Ask Data Sheets from a current view without having to save a workbook to the server or the site. In 19.4, explained data is getting even better now supporting geospatial data, unvisualized measures, and calculated fields, allowing you to use the capability in even more situations. We're also seeing improvements to the authoring experience in desktop. We're making it faster to navigate to where a worksheet is used in complex big workbooks. You can now easily view and jump to all locations that a sheet is used in a workbook. The new delay loading functionality makes show hide containers even better by improving the load performance of dashboards. Imagine a complex dashboard that takes longer than desired to load. If you don't need to load every worksheet at the same time, you can have users toggle containers and redesign your dashboards for better performance. Last up, let's turn to web and mobile. You can now create extracts in the browser. That's right, skip the desktop and head straight to Tableau Server or Tableau Online to save time and give your laptop a break. We have two other browser improvements as well. You can now edit tooltips while in web authoring mode. So stay in the data flow and create and update tooltips all from the web. Additionally, you can update map settings from the browser. So stick in web authoring mode to update backgrounds, styles, layers, and more. Very last on the list here are our improvements to Tableau Mobile in 
you can now unlock the app using biometrics. So use biometrics or device passcodes with long-lived OAuth tokens for an additional layer of security. Sign in once and then rely on biometrics or the device passcode to unlock the app. This is available for both iOS and Android. Lastly, you now have data quality warnings on Tableau Mobile. So stay on top of your data no matter where you are. Well, that just about wraps up what's new in 2019.4. I hope you're excited to get hands-on with all these awesome new features. If you want to learn more, you can check out these helpful links for the homepage, release notes, and you can always stay up to date on what's coming soon in future releases. Again, I've been Tucker Showblad, and I will see you all next quarter. Cheers!